Ah, Japan, the land of sushi, cherry blossoms, and a perplexing economic enigma known as the lost generation. In this video, we'll venture into the dark side of Japan's economy where a generation of young people are trapped in a whirlwind of stagnation and disappointment. So grab your favorite cup of green tea and prepare yourself for a wild and entertaining yet somewhat disheartening journey. The Bubble Bursts the 1980s were a golden age for Japan's economy with soaring property values and a booming stock market. Everything was perfect. Too perfect. The bubble burst in the early 1990s and Japan's economy plummeted into a prolonged period of stagnation, leaving millions unemployed and disillusioned. It's almost like that one time you invested in Beanie Babies. The Employment Ice Age as the economy struggled, Japan entered the Employment Ice Age. A frigid period characterized by bleak job prospects and a lack of opportunities for young people. This left an entire generation stuck in a frozen wasteland, shivering and dreaming of the economic warmth of yesteryear, or at least a decent paying job. The Lost Generation the term lost generation refers to those who came of age during the employment ice age, typically born between the mid-1970s and mid-1980s. They entered the job market just as the economy was taking a nosedive and were met with limited opportunities, forcing many to take low-paying temporary jobs. It's like being invited to a party only to discover it's a pity party for you. The long-lasting effects. The repercussions of the economic employment ice age have lingered for decades, as the lost generation continues to struggle with the consequences of unfortunate economic timing. From low wages to limited career growth, it's a tale of disappointment that's almost Shakespearean in its tragedy. Think of it as Romeo and Juliet, but instead of star-crossed lovers, it's star-crossed job seekers. The social impact of the lost generation and they struggle for stability. Without stable, well-paying jobs, the lost generation has found it difficult to achieve traditional markers of success like home ownership and starting families. This has led to a decline in marriage rates and birth rates as well as an increase in the number of young people living with their parents. The American dream, more like the Japanese nightmare. The hikikimori phenomenon. The economic stagnation has also given a rise to the hikikimori phenomenon, where socially withdrawn individuals retreat into their own homes, isolating themselves from society. It's the ultimate staycation, but with fewer poolside cocktails and more existential dread. Think home alone, but without the burglars and fun booby trap. The proliferation of freeders. As the lost generation struggles to find full-time employment, many have turned to part-time work or temporary work known as freeders. While this lifestyle offers a certain level of freedom, it also comes with low wages, limited benefits, and minimal job security. It's kind of like being a pirate on the high seas of economic uncertainty, but without the cool eye patch and treasure. The Mental Health Crisis the social and economic pressures faced by the lost generation have led to a mental health crisis in Japan. Depression, anxiety, and even suicide rates have increased as young people grapple with the feelings of hopelessness and despair. It's a dark side of Japan's economic reality that's often overshadowed by the country's technological advancements and cultural exports. So much for work-life balance, am I right? Section 3. The Future of the Lost Generation Government Initiatives The Japanese government has introduced various initiatives aimed at addressing the challenges faced by the lost generation, including job training programs, housing assistance, and mental health support. While these efforts are commendable, it remains to be seen whether they will have a lasting impact on the lives of those who have been made left behind. It's like putting a band-aid on a broken heart. A nice gesture, but not exactly a cure. Changing Attitudes As the lost generation continues to age, there's a growing recognition that traditional definitions of success may no longer be relevant or attainable for many. As a result, some are embracing alternative lifestyles and redefining 
success on their own terms. After all, who needs a white picket fence when you can live in a tiny apartment and binge watch Netflix all day? It's like choosing between a Ferrari and a unicycle. One may be more practical, but the other is way more fun. A new generation rising. While the lost generation struggles have been well documented, there's hope that younger generations may fare better. With a renewed focus on education and skill development, as well as a more global outlook, the next generation of workers may be better equipped to navigate the challenges of a rapidly changing world. Let's hope they can avoid the pitfalls of their predecessors and create a brighter future for all. No pressure, kids. The Legacy of the Lost Generation The story of the lost generation serves as a cautionary tale for countries around the world. It highlights the importance of economic stability and the need for governments to prioritize the well-being of their citizens. As we move forward into an uncertain future, let's hope that the lessons learned from the lost generation will not be forgotten.